Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Afall Man, and I'm bringing a Lego review for you guys today. And we have this Ant Man set. This is set number 76039. And you get three minifigs. This was a $20 set. I think it was like 185 pieces. And like I said, it was a $20 set. You get the Ant Man, you get the Hank. I think Hank Finn is that his name? I think that's a Yellow Jacket or Bumblebee. I guess Yellow Jacket. And uh, you get two little ants, and then you get the big ant which I can't remember his name right now you, I'm not a huge superheroes fan as far as the comic books I never read Ant-Man as a kid and to be honest with you when I first saw the trailers for Ant-Man I was not that impressed I just didn't know what to expect and uh, I actually bought a couple of these sets I found them on sale and then I sold them and they sold pretty fast uh, in my Bricklink store and then I watched the movie and I thought, wow, that's really one of the best uh, Marvel superhero movies there is. I really enjoyed it. And then I started looking for the set. <laughs> Again, by that point, you couldn't find it nowhere. I uh, even contacted some people about, hey, keep your eyes out for it. Nobody could find it. And then the next thing I knew, it just continued to go up and up and up in value. And I think mainly because of the, uh, they threw a lot away. I think there might have been something wrong with the legs. Maybe it wouldn't stand up on the large ant. I'm not real sure. Uh, but if you guys remember, I did do a video a while back where they were throwing away a bunch of Lego sets. I'll put it up in the cards. And if you look at those pictures, a lot of those were the Ant-Man set. Uh, so they must have recalled those, threw them away, and then they just didn't build anymore. Uh, because now these things are expensive. I think I paid $50 for this set and that was on Bricklink. If you go to eBay, I think the cheapest is like 80. So I'm sure once the new movie comes out that has Ant-Man uh, Ant in it, it's going to make these even go up even more. Uh, overall, I, I'm really happy with it. Like I said, I did have these before. I never really looked at them. Let's see if we can get the... It does have a double-sided face on Ant-Man. I um, just really love that helmet that Ant-Man comes with. They all have this nice helmet with the trans clear built in it. Oh, it's not going to focus on it, is it? Let's see. No. A little bit of this action. Does that help anything? I see people do that. And then we get the Bumblebee. That's me. Let me put him on a stand. That way you guys don't have to sit here and look at my hand. We'll just cut to... Some footage of the bumblebee fig. Our yellow jacket does have uh, this is a single sided face, but I love that trans yellow helmet. Uh, kind of got like the full backpack with the wings, shooters. And then let's look at the Hank minifig. Again, gets the same kind of trans red uh, double layered helmet that Ant Man has, which is pretty cool. Uh, it does have a double-sided face, so he's kind of got the wrinkly old man mad and just normal. But again, a pretty cool little minifig. Almost could use that for like a, a Tron, from the movie Tron fig. So basically what you get with this set, uh, besides the minifigs, large ant, you get kind of uh, a little a one by 2 yellow plate and then a one by one red brick. And then you're supposed to... This is, I guess, supposed to be kind of like their version of that once Ant-Man has shrunk down into ant size, which, uh, so it, I think it does look pretty good. I mean, these are like screws. These are all obviously stickers here and stickers here. I got that one really messed up. Uh, so I guess the play feature here, they show on the back of the comic book right here. They show like uh, Yellow Jacket stomping down on here, which would then shoot up that screw. Let's see. So something like that, uh, not a <laughs> great play feature. And then obviously you do have the jumper, so you can shoot Ant-Man, which I can't do it for some reason. Let's see here. There you go, it's like that. But I gotta say, I, I, I'm really happy, and I'm not sure what what this thing is here. I don't remember Hank holds that as his weapon or whatever. But I'm really happy with the look of this little build here with the stickers, make those uh, larger uh, pieces like I said the ant does now stand no problem the head swivels this is like a ball joint this the tail goes up and down uh, I think it looks pretty cool 
Uh, let's do a little comparison here because we do now have in the newer sets, I haven't built it all the way, we have the large Ant-Man. Let me back this up here. So we got the large Ant-Man and then we have also the micro Ant-Man. So that's like the little trophy Ant-Man and we have the normal Ant-Man. Let's get him off of here. This thing sticks really good to this thing. Doesn't even want to come off at all. Wow, what am I doing here? For some reason, and this is, I don't know if it's because this has been sitting in the packaging for so long, but that, wow, I didn't want to, it didn't want to come off there. So then we have the larger Ant-Man, normal size Ant-Man, and micro Ant-Man. Uh, I think that looks pretty cool. I'm happy to have all three. Uh, you guys let me know what you think. And like I said, now to get this minifig, because it's only in this one set, is very high dollar. I mean, you're better off buying the whole set than you are just buying the minifigs. I think the minifig probably goes for like 35, 40. And like I said, I got this whole set off Bricklink for 50. So this depends on where you get it. If you see them in the store, I would suggest picking them up because like I said, they're nowhere around me and they're just going up in value. But that will do it for this review, guys. I definitely say it's worth the money if you can find it. As always, hit the thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.